20, RT to Ricky Thornton hammering. RT, here it comes, Ricky Thornton. Wow! Ricky Thornton, can he do it? Ran in Arizona for forever, and then uh, one year I went up to the North Dakota tour, and uh, I won the first year there in my little open trailer. So everyone was giving me shit. They didn't know I ran on an open trailer. They thought I was just some guy, some guy trying to take her money. So it, uh, it worked out for me. Uh, I ended up moving to Kansas that next year. I was there for a year, then I moved to Iowa. And uh, just, I was trying to get exposure that way. Hopefully I could find something like this. And, uh, and fortunately, I was able to. Because we know who's got this one in the bag. It is Ricky Thornton Jr. to the win. It, for me, it's nice to go out, do the best I can, have a good time, and then kind of with the Chili Bowl, I've always wanted to do it, but it's always been a top Wild West shootout. Where finally I was like, you know what, one year I'm gonna miss Wild West shootout and then go run the Chili Bowl. That, that was two years ago and I loved it, so I did it again this year. The biggest payday of his life, $100,000 richer is Ricky Thornton Jr. in the Dirt Track World Championship. No matter what car you're in, you learn something different. Yeah. And, and you can apply to this, I mean, yeah, I always give them shit in the midget in the sprint car. It's like you're sitting on the toilet and the way like you sit in the car and the, the way the pedals work and all that. But setups and stuff are a little bit different. But I mean, even at the same time, like you can learn different ways in the corner. And really jumping back and forth, it probably takes a lap or two. And then you're like, all right, I got this again. So it, it's just you're you're so much more out there. People who don't really know you think kind of, you're kind of an asshole. Everyone thinks I'm an asshole <laughs> for some reason. The winner of the modified portion of the Castro Gateway Dirt Nationals will be Ricky Thornton. Junior. I, uh, I've always wanted to, wanted to be a late model guy, and now to do it and win the biggest race of the year, it, it's huge. It, it's what we work our butt off for, and it, it's finally, it's nice that it's showing. Two-time back-to-back champion, it is Ricky Thornton Jr. I, I've always kind of wanted to do something like this, and I've watched Creed Iron before, so I figure it's a, it'll be a nice step to kind of see how it all works, and who knows, maybe we can, we, we're talking, maybe we can talk you guys into doing something for the full year, and maybe it'd be pretty cool. We, we've been good so far, so as long as we can keep doing that, I think we'll have a couple of W's. Speed Weeks 2023. It starts today, my friend. Mother Nature plays nice. We've got 19 nights of racing we're going to cover in the next 20 plus days here at Flow Racing. Hey, it's Ricky Thornton Jr. here, driver of the 20RT SSI Motorsports car. Uh, we're here at Golden Isles night one. Uh, hopefully it goes pretty well. Hey, Anthony Burroughs, uh, crew chief for Ricky Thornton Jr. SSI Motorsports. Uh, looking forward to you guys following us around for the next three and a half weeks. Hopefully it's fun and uh, it's cold outside. Hopefully the weather gets warmer and we're going to get after it tonight and see what we got. DJ, work for SSI. I'm a tire guy. Paul Sloan for Speed Weeks 2023. Let's go. And I'm Chris Jaco, body guy, Gold Isles, Speed Weeks, day one. Can't forget you're single, bud. <laughs> and I'm single. <laughs> Explosive Browns heavy equipment followed by the 20 RT out of Martinsville, Indiana. It'll be Ricky Thornton, the Todd and Vicky Burns, SSI Motorsports, Longhorn Clements, Big River Steel Hoker Trucking Entry. We'll see if RTJ can improve on lap number two. He does. He jumps up to second quick. Good lap, 1-4, 9-9-1. Qualified second, so uh, I was about half a tenth off the hood for quick time. So I think we uh, should be good. Start of the pole, second heat race, me and Dalton Wilson. So as long as we make the right adjustments, I think we should be able to win it. Start on a pole, heat two, here we go. Summit Grace Sick of Wibbity to RTJ and Dalton Wilson. Boy, RTJ and a good run down to the Chili Bowl nearly made the main event. Here they come out of two and down the next straightaway. It's RTJ, the Todd and Mickey Burns, SSI Motorsports, Big River Steel 20 RT out in front. He's got a tough customer just behind him, though, in the 18, the adult Wilson, as you mentioned, at the end of lap number one. Those two out front that he led from the Racing for Heroes start zone. And Ricky Thornton Jr. is going to win Summit Racing Equipment. He's number two here tonight at Golden Isles. Well, 
Ricky Thorne Jr. He's in the SSI Motorsports. Big Rivers Field 20 RT out of Martinsville, Indiana. And Brian Shirley in the Brian Connard number eight car. 40 laps is the distance, James. The opening night of the Super Queen Super Bowl of Racing here at Gold Mile Speedway. And this is your Dixie Chopper Field. The driver that used to drive the SSI Motorsports car, Hudson O'Neill, battling with Thornton. How about the two Hoosiers going at it now, side to side on the turn four by a car like RTJ in the one. You mentioned Hudson O'Neill started back in seven. Now he's going to drive down to the inside of Ricky Thornton Jr. to battle for that second spot. RTJ with a little more momentum on the high side. Hudson O'Neill and Ricky Thornton Jr. all behind your leader, Brandon. Over to Davenport, Vincent Wilson, six. And Hudson O'Neill will clear him that time, coming off turn number two. Ricky Thornton Jr. drive back down to the inside, down the back straightaway. They try to go side by side. Hudson O'Neill, though, dives down to the bottom, tries to take the slider line away. He does. Hudson O'Neill up to second, eight laps in. Ricky Thornton Jr. and Jonathan Davenport close in second, third, fourth, and fifth, all within the same half straightaway of each other. McCready to the outside, and T-Mac will take the second spot. What's Brandon Overton going to do as he tries to find a way around the back of the field? Three cars at the back of the field, just in front of your race leader. This time by nine laps to go is oh no Davenport and O'Neill make contact in turns three and four and the stop deck breaks caution flag is out. Oh my goodness. Look at this job driving that Ricky Thornton Jr. does right there to get by. Then you're gonna see Dalton Wilson slide by and Devin Moran. A great job driving by those drivers. Uh, Hudson O'Neill spinning that car around, trying to keep from stopping. Hi, McCready's coming, James. It's down to 9-10. On the back straightaway to turn three by Earl Pearson Jr. Over here comes to McCready. Here goes McCready. Who's gonna win it? Destin can Overton lead it all the way. Oh man. At the line it is Brandon Overton getting your opening night win at Golden Niles with the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Tim McCready will finish second. Ricky Thornton Jr. third. We'll take a turn for the first time. We were going to run fifth there, and uh, JD and I kind of got here, and they both spun. Kind of benefited me. Uh, car was really good. Uh, Overkill was really good, but then, like, I don't know, the last couple of laps, they slowed down, and they just tried not to, to pass a lot of cars or something. But uh, I'll make, I'm happy. Uh, move on to tomorrow. Third place, first night. We'll take it. I think we might as well do a quarter panel report while we're while we're thinking about left side. She's all nice. Woo. Left side looks nice. Ready to roll. Nose still looks good. Clement racing engines, best in the business, boys. Right side door still looking mighty fine. How do our tires look tonight? Oh, not much left. Not much left. Not much left. What, what, are, what do we need to do to be a little better? I don't know. We'll have to rethink it this evening and eat a couple pork chops and we'll go back at it tomorrow. Go from there. <laughs> the only damage we got, it's kind of hard to tell. The old quarter pound, she's a little beat up. I, uh, I screwed up on a restart. I screwed up there on that restart and kind of ran into Dalton and screwed up my right quarter panel. But you'll have that here on these big time jobs. So overall, we're excited. See you tomorrow. All right, good morning, here we go. DJ and Jay goes up, getting the car out. We've been, first thing we do in the mornings is get the bottom of the trailer cleaned up and get ready for day two. Day night one was a pretty decent night for us. Had a third to fifth place car. Uh, Recky brought her home third. And so uh, we'll see what the day brings. super smooth today it's kind of rough right through the middle so i'm kind of worried when you guys are going to get in and tip over and uh i don't know it's weird uh, it didn't look like it was going to be bad earlier so ran a lap around the top ran a lap around the bottom i felt pretty good so hopefully we can qualify well here and uh, be up front for our heat race are you ready ap one insurance heat fall order <laughs> <laughs> Top three will transfer and they go wheel wheel. Now Thorne 
throw it into the bottom. He'll throw the slider on Thug Nasty out of turn number four. Oh! Ooh, race leader. Wow, look out. And, oh man, the 89 going over Logan Robertson. Checkered flag in the air. Thornton Jr.'s got this race. I, I feel like I, I cleared him, but I knew I took the air off his nose. So. But he's all right. Like even, even like running with him behind him, you could shoot with running twos, and then the guys that's won the heat the previous stuff, the best thing could go with a two. Yeah. So, I felt really good there. He looks good too. Track's way different than. I've only been here, this is my second time coming, and I don't think the last year has ever that giddy up, like around the middle. Like, it's not even really to the top yet. Juice. Always juice. juice. On the fuel, son. Bro, bro, it's a little nerve. A little nerve wracking. Look, we've been doing it for a long time, so we'll see how we do. I think everybody went hard other than a couple people, so we'll see what happens. But we went hard. Don't know if it was right or not, but I'll let you know in about 20 minutes. Are you ready? I'm ready, Jake says six the Brandon Fork pace truck makes a hard left hand turn to the pit area. They'll fire on the racing for heroes restart zone coming off turn number four. It is the Dixie Chopper. looking for his fourth career win in the Lucas Oil Late Mother Dirt Series. Whoa, here comes Larson through the middle, slides up the track. Oh, Brendan still has it. Ricky Thorne Jr. with on the big number, still pulling from last night. Along with the three, dual winner, Brandon Overton, and Brandon Overton. Dustin, we've got a down of the lead of Golden Isles in the turn three. Halfway home, 25 down, 25 to go. Larson going to sneak down to the inside of Brandon Overton to battle for the lead. Side by side off the corner, Overton's able to hold him off. Larson will make another run down the inside. Ricky Thornton Jr. right there as well. Top three cars being covered with a blanket down the back straightaway and in lap traffic. Some good racing the Wild West shootout. This is a competitive one in Golden Isles. Out of turn four, we may have a new leader at the line. It is still Overton. Oh, oh man. man. Here comes RTJ. Ricky Thornton Jr. Now the cars at the tail end of the field running in front of me as they go into three. There's Logan Robertson right now. Three car battle for the lead at Golden Isles on a Friday night. Man, this is a good one right here. Ricky Thornton Jr. going to drive back down to the inside, try to take the second spot from Kyle Larson. He's not done yet. He's got second. He wants the lead. RTJ in the 20RT on the inside. Kyle Larson on the outside, both giving your race leader fits this time by at the stripe. It is uh, Brandon Overton by four one thousandths of a second. How many times did you say in the Wild West you'd at least a green Jennings Essex? Let's do it. I'm in the house tonight. Ricky Thorne Jr. is going to take the lead out in turn four for the first time in two nights. Brandon Overton is not the leader of a race in the Lucas Oil Late Monitor Series. Instead, it's Ricky Thornton Jr. with 20 laps to go as RTJ has put the SSI Motorsports entry out of the front of the field. And now the high-speed game of Cat and Mouse has the roles reversed. Brandon Overton is reeled back in your race leader. Oh, that is close. Down the back straight away they go door to door for the lead. Thornton had it on lap number 30. They are still at it. Thornton battling it. How about it, man? They're going at it. Ricky Thornton Jr. hangs on to the lead. We've got 14 laps to go. Larson's going to go to the high side. He's going to try to get a run up on the outside of both of these drivers down the back straightaway. Larson trying to tiptoe around the top of the Golden Isle Speedway. He's got a run on Brandon Overton off corner number four to battle for second. Larson, sparklers and snakes, J. Van Larson trying to get it done in the six. <laughs> down the back straightaway. Oh man, and they got two cars running side to side in front of your leader. Thornton, Larson, Overton, you gotta love Dirtley Motor Racing, Bono and Golden Isles. Look out down the straightaway, Larson for the lead in traffic. My goodness, we need a PSG, <laughs> baby. Yes, sir. Please stay green. This Essex is, is all in the house too tonight. good. Essex is in the house tonight. It's gotta happen. And I love it. And I love it, brother. Here comes our Larson. He gets a little sideways trying to work around the 10 of Garrett Smith. He gets his momentum up. So oh. he's able to gather back up. And my goodness, how did he thread the needle there? Larson, he'll go around over to laps winding down. We'll have nine to go. Larson, Ricky Thorne Jr., can he hang on in the turn number one? Oh, baby. Nine to go this time.
time by Ricky Thornton Jr. He's got the seven of Ross Robinson. Whoa. Robbie Larson gets too high and jumps the cushion. He relinquishes the second spot to the 76 of Brandon Overton. Larson goes up top. Larson, Larson rim riding around the Golden Isle Speedway. James with six to go. Watch this on Thornton do with Ross Robinson in front of him. This is close. Down the back straightaway. Ricky Thornton Jr. Brandon Overton on the outside. They go side to side. Down the main straightaway. At the line. Five to go. A three car battle on a Friday night at Golden Isles. What a race here at Golden Isles, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching a good one at home on Flow Racing. Here comes Brandon over to the outside of RT. Side by side for the race lead through turns three and four. This time by four laps to go. Ricky Thornton Jr. stays out front. Kyle Larson to left, three to go. Oh my gosh. I am so oh. He bites the concrete at four. Larson goes back to second. They are driving the wheels off of it in the quarter panels as well. With two to go coming up. Can Thornton hang on? Thornton trying to hang on. Larson trying to get a run. Larson going to drive it deep this time into turns three and four. Two laps to go. Larson to the lead that time by at the strike. Are you serious now? Can he keep it down the wall? Thornton digging hard. Down the back straight away. And Kyle Larson, if he can get around Ross Robinson, that may be all she wrote as they head to the white flag. White flag in the air final time around. If Larson can keep the wheels on it, he might be set. He's got the lapped car of Robinson between them. Ricky Thornton Jr. James going to try to get one more run. Oh man, could it be, could it be in a turn three? But Larson goes to the bottom, and Kyle Larson, the third different leader of the race on a Friday night at Golden Eyes, gets it done. Ricky Thornton Jr. will cross in second. Brandon Overton finishes it. He said, if we move to the top. We're in the same scenario, we get passed on the bottom. So, damn if we do, damn if we don't. Uh, but we'll take second. We've had, we haven't finished outside the top five yet. So, oh, it's a bummer to lose, but man, you're racing the Brandon, one of the better guys in the country here, better guys in the country anywhere. And and to be able to get up there and race and this not feeling like this is one of our better tracks. And we, we got speed and we got speed through the whole night. So, the reason we've got off to such a good start is because those two guys they've they've put in the work this winter and done everything we've asked them to do and, it, and as you know and everybody knows how much time it takes to do this deal and uh, their hard work is showing right now good news is i think we made the right tire choice and we also got one of these which is always good this is a tire sample <laughs> whenever you get those it's only means you did pretty good i was looking at that right here she's bald maybe, maybe we needed to put a 1600 on we have been golden crew's happy drivers pretty much happy so we'll go from there I uh, I screwed up a little bit there but damned if you damn if you're not it almost hurt worse than the first time I tried the top I drove right around Ross so I was like but at the same time Brandon got next to me and I was able to drive back by him so it, it's one of those deals like I don't know hopefully we win tomorrow and then no one will remember tonight Day three. Clean Lost a tough time. one last night. Going after 25 grand a day. Clean up time first. Time to get Darlene out. Time to get Darlene out. On the last day here, GIS. About to wash some tires here. Set y'all up so you watch.
then get a good start and not get married back. Uh, 60 laps, so 10 more laps than last night. But if we can keep the train, we should have a trophy on top at the end. Heat race win, check. Feature pending. Can't go wrong with high performance lubricants detailer. RTJ for the win. And yeah. DJ tires. Also, I want to give a shout out to my dad back home. He's getting inducted to one of our local Hall of Fames. So I hope they're having a good time. And we'll see him at East Bay. Brandon Overton on the pole. Hudson O'Neill on the outside. They'll fire at the Racing for Heroes starting zone. This is your Dixie Chopper. Feel the thunder. Second the mile, lane number one. Oh, and that is the 20-yard tee, the Big River Steel Car. Follows for fourth, and he gets it back going, coming out of turn four. Battles with Moran for third. That is indeed the battle for third. We get one lap in the books. James up front, though. Hudson O'Neill applying the pressure to your race leader, Brandon Overton. Caution flag is out on the speedway. As trouble for Devin Moran on the Double Down Motorsports 99. James, your fourth place car having issues. 52 to go, and they fire in the Racing for Heroes restart zone. O'Neill picked the bottom on the drive car that TV used to drive for, the SSI Motorsports. That was close as he shot up the track. Thornton got around him. Ricky Thornton Jr., can he go from third Thursday? Second last night, the heartbreak loss to Kyle Larson. Can he win tonight? Yeah, Ricky Thornton Jr. is going to go to the outside for the lead on Brandon Overton. Distance. Business picking up here at Golden Isle Speedway in the Super Clean Super Bowl of Racing. You've got a new race leader. Ricky Thornton Jr. out of Chandler, Arizona puts the SSI Motorsports entry out front for the first time here tonight. Nobody is able to pass Brandon Overton the last couple of nights until Thornton uh, did it last night. And the driver coming off almost made the Chili Bowl a few weeks ago down in Tulsa. And he does not want to see a repeat of last night. Right now it's about five car lengths as they come out of turn number four. Down the main straightaway, it is still Ricky Thornton Jr., the Todd and Vicky Burns SSI Motorsports car. Seven laps to go for a $25,000 payday. He's going to throw it to the outside. White flag. One to go. Can Ricky Thornton Jr. hang on over to Brandon Brandon Overton into turn one. Here we go, Dustin. Final time around. Brandon Overton pedaling hard on the top of the racetrack. We have one last ditch effort. He's got to run down the back straightaway. Through turns three and four. Overton on the high side. Ricky Thornton on the bottom. Off corner number four at the line. Brandon Overton with a last turn. Last lap pass wins the super clean Super Bowl of racing at Golden Isles. R you serious what a finish oh my goodness can't be disappointed i mean we've been fast ever since we unloaded at volusia last week and uh coming in here we had not we didn't really set any expectations coming to brunswick because we just struggled here so bad last year and uh so to come out of here with uh the finishes we got we're going to build on it not hold our heads down Congratulations to Overton. He done a heck of a job, and uh, we'll go at him tomorrow. Be what it be. Go to the next one. Try again. Come here. <laughs> like, is it like heartbreaking right at the time? Like, how you feel? How are you feeling there, Beyond? I was trying to just drive head on into the wall. <laughs> no, it was one of those deals. Like, I've done it before, so I've been on it on each side of it. So like that part of it's kind of tough, but Brandon did remind me, hey, you stole a hundred grand from me a couple years ago. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thanks, asshole. <laughs> but yeah, I told him, I was like, well, hell, let me win the hundred grand again this year, and then we'll, we'll, we'll call it even. But guess what? We're moving on to the next one tomorrow at Ocala. We were good there last year. We'll be good there again. A third and couple seconds, we'll definitely take it. <laughs> I love Alltech, but man, I really love going to Bubba. Two forty-five in the morning. We have made it to the Bubba Raceway Park. Yeah, the Bubba Raceway Park. Bubba's Army. Bubba Army. Bubba loves Bubba. RT's favorite racetrack on Speed Weeks. 
I'm pumped. It, although, not only did Brandon Overton rain on my parade tonight, it's currently raining on us right now. It like, is. what the hell is going on? Burroughs enjoying his cup of coffee. One thing made this morning better if we listen to paint me in Birmingham. Oh, we could do that. We could put it on the radio. We're gonna get all loaded, cleaned up, serviced up. We get ready to rock for the night. We ain't hungry no more. Can you just not pass us on the last lap? I know how it feels. I know how it feels. You said y'all do remember y'all took a hundred thousand. I was, no, that was that was there. I wasn't there yet. Yeah. No, it's all good. At least it was you and not somebody else. That's right. but then it's like getting in as pretty slick as can be so you can easily move or miss your line. So I think there's gonna be a lot of that. Hopefully there's not a lot of yellows, but I think overall it could be pretty sporty. Ricky Thornton Jr. Can he finally cross the checkered flag first here tonight? We'll see Zella Martinsville, Indiana in the 20 RT. When they get to the Racing for Heroes starting zone in turns three and four, that'll trip the trigger for green flag racing. And this is your Dixie Chopper Field of Thunder. Ricky Thornton Jr. leading, but Devin Moran right there knocking on the back door. James, those two drivers pulled out by a few car lengths over your third place car. Earl Pearson Jr. Moran down to the inside of RDJ to the lead. Ricky Thornton Jr. stays out front. Moran oh, throw a slider in one and two, and he clears him. And Thornton had to get out of the gas. He's tapped the break into turn number three. Two laps, three different winners. Out in turn number four. The second generation driver right of Fresno, Ohio. Trying to get his third overall win this year's first. This year's Lucas Oil Lake Hundred Series. Ricky Thornton Jr. He also has six career wins. So we go to one. Green flag is back out, and Moran jumps the cushion down in turns one and two. That allows Ricky Thornton Jr., Earl Pearson Jr., and Tyler Bruning all to get by. Now Max Blair will slip by as well. Moran back to fifth. You've got a new leader, James, on lap 15. It's RTJ. The second night in a row, tough break for the 99, and we're not sure if he's got a tire down. RTJ to the green of the Racing for Heroes restart zone. Earl Pearson Jr. lays claim to that second spot. Max Player going to tuck in line in third ace to win your fourth title. Brittany fifth, but well, trouble one amazing. car up on its side. Dennis Herb Jr. Yes, Tyler Bruning involved, and McCready. the other driver looks to be Tim McCready. It is. That front left tire yeah, on that, Ricky uh, Thorne Jr.'s car. Ben, if you could see that, we're going to go back green at the racing. Left front slow. Zone. Left front slow on RTJs. If, you, if you're going to have a tire low, that's yep. the one that uh, that's the one you want right there. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that and see if Ricky Thornton Jr. can hang on. 14 more laps to get his first Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series win of the year, James. He's pulling away. He's just as fast as he was as Will Harrington comes out in front of him. White flag for Ricky Thornton Jr. One more lap, Dustin. One more time around for the driver, the SSI Motorsports number 20 RT, originally from Chandler, Arizona. Spent some time in Adel, Iowa. Now calls Martinsville, Indiana home. He's going to call Victory Lane home tonight. Ricky Thornton Jr. wins night number one of the General Tire Winter Nationals at Bubba Raceway Park. Pretty good night for us. I uh, 
What are we? Qualify third, second? Uh, I don't remember. Third. Qualify third in our group. Oh yeah, next to Max. Max is quick time in our group. Won our heat race. It's our second, one feature. Overall, just pretty awesome. And uh, it was eventful. Had a red, had a flat tire after that. I uh, uh, ran the last 19 laps to the flat. So, track was elbows up, just get after it. We had a right rear going down after the feature tech. So, we had, we had all kinds of luck tonight. I flipped one car, my crew got here. They're all about beat, I'm beat, but it's okay. We're gonna keep on keeping on. Do you got any Mountain Dews? No. Okay. You owe me three. It's always good when you gotta unload and clean the confetti out of the car and in the top of the trailer and uh, gonna go like heck again today and see what happens. Try to get through tonight with a if we're fortunate enough to get another win, be awesome. If not, have another solid run. And head on over to Alltech, get cleaned up, serviced up tomorrow, and give the boys a day off on Wednesday. Be ready to go again on Thursday. And the 99 B out of Bear Lake, Pennsylvania. Roger Clements up Boom Briggs. And then 14452 for last night's winner, Ricky Thornton Jr. Dalton Wilson with a 14794 on lap number one, a 15. I ended up third in my group. I kind of screwed up a little bit. I think I just drove too hard trying to trying to make a really quick lap and it might slow me down a little bit. But overall, pretty good. I started on the front row next to Winger, so hopefully we can get the job done. Got any words starting next to us in this heat race? I'm just really nervous. Uh, I'm DJ Williams' biggest fan. I've always been a big fan ever since he's a car guy. KPM, Gold Trail. Let's get out of here, guys. Green flag will fly when they get to the racing for Hero starting zone in turn number four. Ashton Winger and Ricky Thornton Jr. bringing to the green. That Jeff Matthews crew, that Jeff Matthews zone, number 12. Crew chief Gary Winger, Widener almost got up against the wall. That cost McCready as well. Thornton has stumbled back. Winger, Cosner now here comes last night's winner, Ricky Thornton Jr. back to the outside. Thornton had made the pass last time, but James, it was not a completed lap. So RTJ goes back to work on Matt Cosner. He's able to get by. We get that lap in. Ricky Thornton Jr. up position number two. Stay on the back straightaway, Ashton Winger trying to hold him off. The 23-year-old out of Georgia. Here comes the Indiana driver, and Ashton Winger is on the pole tonight at Bubba's. Second spot will go to Ricky Thornton Jr. Gonna be slick by the end, so complete 180 from last night's track, but that's why I like coming to this place. You never know what you're gonna get, and uh, hopefully it's racing. Jonathan Davenport on the outside. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your Dixie Chopper Feel the Thunder. Second that it's Tyler of Dennis Herb Jr. 25 laps scored, 15 laps to go in the General Tire Winter Nationals at Bubba Raceway Park. Dennis, oh no, he got out of grind. Here comes Herb. Dennis Herb Jr. takes the lead. He got out of the line, out of the groove there, and Jonathan Davenport, a new leader, is Dennis Herb Jr. They're going side by side down the back straightaway. Does Davenport not going to let it go that easily? He tries to drive back to the outside and turns one and two to Davenport. Find another line on the high side of the racetrack. Will that line come into play? 
as they try to work by the lap car of Kyle Bronson. Look at the run. JD gets down the back straight away. James, we got another dandy here tonight at Bubba Raceway Park. Side to side around this egg shape. Three eighths mile oval on a turn four. Dennis Herb Jr. at the line by a nose. He will lead his third straight lap. 12 to go. Out at two. Davenport now. He'll retake the lead down the back straight away as they hit it at turn three. Kyle Bronson right there at the 40B. Man, oh man, they are going at it. And Jonathan Davenport retakes the lead in Bubba. White flag going to be in the air this time. Final time around. Remember here a year ago, Devin Moran and Tim McCready crashed across the finish line. And the stop tech breaks. Caution is out in turn four for Ricky Thornton Jr. Ricky Thorne Jr. in position number five, a chance to take over the points lead. And the 20 RT brings out a caution with unofficially one lap to go. It looks good right now by four car lengths. And the 66th career win in the Lucas Oil Late Monitor Series belongs to Jonathan Davenport in car 49. He's running fifth and I believe we got spun out. Uh, I didn't really see it, but uh, I don't think we're very happy with it, but we'll just load up, go to the next one, and run our tails off again. Load up time. Had a good night other than the last two laps. I uh, should have ended up fifth, we got spun out. But shit happens. Luckily we got some throwaway nights. Uh, get ready for all tech. Sorry, Ricky and Burroughs. I didn't mean to, I promise. You can get retaliation on me at some point. Still love you guys. That's it for today. Wendell locked us out. We are locked out. Can't get in. Hey, all tech. All tech. Unloaded. Unloaded. Ready to roll. Well, not yet. We gotta fix the body. But it's gonna rain Friday, which isn't very good at all. Ready to do this high speed. No no ability to turn, no traction. Racer race track. That's right. That's big. Get her, let her cleaned up, serviced up, and back in the box. Hi. You want to see Hadley clear? Hi. You're going to win? I sure hope I'm going to win, buddy. Yeah. Yeah? Do you, do you think I'm going to win? Yeah. dinner and said you want to go to the boot store I said no so they go to the boot store we come back with not one pair not two pair three I repeat three pair of boots hey buy one two free I mean how do you go wrong buy one pair of boots for four thousand dollars get two free <laughs> four hundred dollars <laughs> It's dead. Jago is a plumber as well as a mechanic and a body guy. And you know it's a high dollar plumber when he wears his cowboy boots to do the plumbing. So, and every, it almost is. And every time he starts a plumbing project, I always remind him of the plumber's words. Poop runs downhill and don't chew on your fingernails. Oh, we got water. Hey, would you like the beach? Yeah. Would you like the beach? Yeah. yeah there was a lady with the chicken on a leash. I totally forgot huh? about that. Yeah, she had a chicken on the leash. <laughs> I got a picture of it, so. <laughs> We've been down here. Two weeks, four days, three hours, and 27 minutes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>
<laughs> I lost count. Practice day at all. Practice day at all day. The secret sauce. Practice. We're talking about practice. practice. Well, we we'll just race day number six. Rained out. Rained out. All set. Second year in a row. Oh boy. Look at there. Where are you? How about just the rest of these guys? Yeah, I was, I was just curious yes. if you're a race fan and uh, what do you take on Speed Week so far? Uh, I think it's pretty clear that 20 RT's crew chief ain't worth a shit. Well, I can't disagree with that. <laughs> and thank God for Jayco. Thank God for that Jayco. That team wouldn't win one race you know? if Jayco wasn't on the team. And Jayco, if he put some gel in his hair, he might could get a woman. This waitress, by the way. I've been trying. I think for Jayco. Say hi, Jayco. Hi, Jayco. Okay, can I introduce you to Jayco? <laughs> what happened? I thought that son was best day. <laughs> I thought they, I told, I thought they were telling that Burroughs went out there and set a lap down. I said, that's bullshit. I'm going for it. T-shirt sales was low last weekend. I didn't make it out of turn three. You know, I'm sitting in the car. They put their phone up there. 20 RT. Four tenths pass from there, buddy. That's, that's bullshit. I'm going for it. I went around there first lap, second lap, I didn't make it. <laughs> Earl Pearson Jr. is the best damn dirt track racer to ever be in and Luke Paul racer. <laughs> like it or not. We're on the drive home. You're on dirt. Drive hey, home. This is the Look, new drive home, ladies and gentlemen. Serious question. Who is this? I want a serious question. Who is this guy? I want a, I want a serious question to my dad, Earl Pearson Jr. How many J bars have you ordered since last night hitting a wall in practice? I ain't ordered a damn J bar. Oh. Nice day, not a cloud in the sky. Last day of wearing a hoodie for a while, hopefully. We'll put five dollars on on I draw a uh, a forty-five. A forty-five? Okay. Twenty-nine. Oh, you got my I got number. Your number. <laughs> so what do I do I do I get your money? Watch then? me get forty five. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Tell me when to stop. Stop. Fifty-three. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a tough number. pretty good that first lap. I, I don't know, I just got in wrong, I guess. And I, I turned, I got in as far as I needed to, but whenever I turned, I actually turned off the wall. So that made me slide into the wall. So I just made sure my second lap, I, I got in, made a clean lap through there, made a clean lap through three and four, and, and heck, but it's P1, so definitely can't complain about that. I report. Better jump. Gotta doctor him up. Brought him back to the doctor's office. We're about to get him right. Hopefully he'll get us a heat race win. Going into turns one and two, Max Blair down to the inside of Brandon over turn about him for the second spot. One, one, one on the inside, 76 on the outside. Off corner number four, it's going to be Ricky Thornton Jr. winning Sips Race Products Heat Race number three, Max Blair second. What is Olivia Tires thing? Hey, it's time for RTJ to get the win. And DJ Tires, oh, and yeah. Burroughs, and Jayco, and Miss Darla, and everybody, and Shay, and the kids. <laughs> Everybody's getting a shout out tonight.
50 laps is the distance, ladies and gentlemen. 27 cars going green flag racing. This is your Dixie Chopper. Feel the thunder. We stay green, Dustin. It is Ricky Thornton Jr. out in front of the 20RT. Four tenths of a second was the advantage for the 20RT. It stays four tenths of a second as they turn nearly identical lap times again. Here comes Clanton to the inside for the lead. On the back straightaway, meanwhile, Devin Moran is up six spots. We've got a new leader to turn three. It becomes official to the start-finish line. Thornton will drop back about a car length and a half. Out at turn four. Brand new leader at all tech. It's Shane Clanton. Shane Clanton takes the lead, James, officially with eight laps now complete. 42 of laps to go. This lead duo has really stretched out their advantage. Pretty sizable advantage now over the 18B of Dalton Wilson. As Clayton gets in the wall down the front straightaway. James, you saw it there, Matt. Yep, TV on flow racing. He almost went out of the ballpark. And meanwhile, Max Blair is closing on these top two. Clint will show a replay later on if this thing stays green, but he about left the ballpark in turn two, Dustin. Well, he's certainly got damage on that race car and is going to hinder his ability now to keep pace with the 20RT of Ricky Thornton Jr. As Max Blair, as you mentioned, has caught the 25. And just as we say that, McCready going to get him back down the back stretch. That's the battle for third. Meanwhile, at the front of the field, Max Blair goes for the lead in three and four. And we've got a new leader, a third different leader. How about the battle? behind him. They're trying to go three wide for a second. Max Blair out in front. McCready, by the way, started back in 12th, Dustin, and he's battling for it, and Max Blair leads in a three, the third generation driver and, out of Pennsylvania. And Kyle Strickler, there you see, now up to the second spot. So the first stop tech breaks caution flag of the race. And it is for, we got wholesale hot, hot, Hard bean, hot sauce, <laughs> pit area. There is Will Harrington. Garrett Alberson is there. Strickler chooses the inside lane. Ricky Thornton going to try to get a run on the high side. We're back underway. He's got a run on the high side into turn number one. Blair, Ricky Thornton Jr. trying to regain the lead. What a restart for RTJ on a turn number two back in front. And here comes Strickler on the outside. And Blair is going to go from first to third on this lap. Make it in there for a second. McCready fourth. And back out in front is Ricky Thornton Jr. Coming around to the white flag in the stop tech. Great oh, caution. No. The flag is going to fly. We could not get a please stay green. Oh, oh. oh man. As yeah. Earl Pearson Jr. has slowed to a stop up at the top of turn number four. As they head down the back straightaway, through turns three and four, Thornton on the bottom. McCready going to give it one last inch effort off corner number four. Your winner at All Tech is going to be Ricky Thornton Jr. off all week we'll be good first time with the orange spoiler first time. never had one guess what it's gonna go on first thing in the morning when i get it <laughs> <laughs> no, you hit my left door. No, I did not. He that's did. a lie. I got a mark from that's it. That's a lie. That's not a lie. You like my left side for some I know. Reason. Practice night. East Bay. A little thuggy in the wall. A little 
dog, you hit the wall of practice. Talk about practice. Spoiler boys. Update you here in a minute. That baby is nice and orange. She's bright. I feel bad, I almost feel bad for this. Like, we're at East Bay, you know she's gonna get a little scraped up. It's already scraped up, it's all good. We might have a problem. Oh Lord, okay. So, I think. Jacob is sweet on DJ Tires' sister. Okay. And DJ Tires gave him the blessing. I'm like, that's gonna be weird at Thanksgiving. Well, why would it but be? But at least weird? we got one prospect. Not one spectator. Turbo, I think was quick time overall. They look pretty good. Track's weird. It's it's slick. It's bouncy. Stall on the gas. Elbows up. I'm gonna go with Dennis or. Checkered flag is in the air. Your opening night winner at East Bay Raceway Park is going to be Tyler Herb. Second goes to Hudson O'Neill. Third, Tyler Millwood from 20th. Ricky, get a shot at this. Get this man a woman. We're trying the, hard we're trying the hardest we can. Bolts on wheel pack. Anybody? Uh, We're not a fan of it. Hey, not a fan. As long as the race is better tonight, yeah. it's all good. Yeah. See, that's what I said. This man taught me everything I know. Wow, that's a bold statement right there. It'll be the current Lucas Oil Late Butter Series point leader Ricky Thornton Jr. out of Martinsville, Indiana. Todd of Big Bird Jets at Side Motorsports, Longhorn Flat, Big Bird Geo Local Trucking, Subsurface of Indiana, David McCoy, the 187 out of Franklin, North Carolina, the Longhorn Big Hill, Coleman Farms Racing Special Needs Schools of Gwinnett, and the 58 last year's around the other part of the year. Get Ricky Thorne Jr. into the wall. As we see the 20 RT, that's their worst nightmare on a non points night. Dustin right there. Ooh, they, have, they have hooked a rut down here in the corner, it looked like. Uh, got through one and two on first lap good, and then just kind of bounced through the holes on the back straightaway and got in the wall getting into three. So we kind of killed both laps. Uh, my second lap, I got the cushion in turn two. So yeah, I think we ended up like 19th overall. So I think we're just going to say screw it. Get her patch backed up and get her ready for tomorrow. He's a winner with the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Ashton Winter gets it done on a Tuesday night at East Bay. I've done wrecked through qualifying. I mean, you just, want, you just wanted to break in my so old So we got the, nice this fancy new orange spoiler. She's already beat to crap. Just, wanted, just had to break it in. Two laps. Yeah. Tired around a second. Tired around a second. I hear it. Over it. Got to beat the wall down a little harder tonight. All right. Word of the day is fun. Fun. Okay. Because the moment this becomes a job, it's no longer fun. That's so right. let's all have fun. That's you get right. to wake up, live a dream every day, enjoy it. That's have right. fun. That's right, Martin. So I just got really nervous when you walked out. <laughs> I'm a big fan of yours. I've always been a big fan ever since you've been to Kyle Bronson Motorsports. Now that you're on crew diaries, I just I really don't know how to control myself around you. It means a lot oh to me. It means God. more to me than winning the race last night. Oh my gosh. Well, good job, buddy. It's always well back here. $100,000 back car. Day three at East Bay, it's like day 600 for you and the rest of the guys. Um, so I've been watching y'all's crew diaries. Everybody wants the yellow hat back. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Rubber in three and four, the top and bottom, so slimy you can't even think about going there. So, oh well. Hopefully, we get through the rest of the week. Don't turn anything up. Well, we got a science project on there, so oh, starting back there trying boy. to learn a little something. Oh, so we'll boy. see what happens. Science project. Ryan, if 
Next, and we'll have the lead on a turn number two. Here comes Bronson, works his way. Tyler to the outside as they hit into turn number three. It's Kyle Bronson down to the inside of the battle for the lead. KB40 gonna put that car out front as Gustin slips up. Gustin tries to get a run down the back straightaway, and he does. Side by side up front for the race lead. Ryan Gustin retakes the lead from Kyle Bronson. Bronson led that last lap this time oh, by as Gustin back out front. But it's gonna be the Reaper out of Marshalltown, Iowa. His first career win in the Lucas Oil Late Monitor series science project no bueno no bueno got cold beer though one thumb fabricator would have gave it one thumb down we give it two we'll be better tomorrow though new day tomorrow Can you tell everybody uh, what recipe you put on them ribs? Absolutely not. <laughs> I think it's been a wild couple days here for us at East Bay Raceway Park, but you know what? We're out here making the best of it. Uh, it's gonna get it on tonight. Sorry, I don't know if I'm allowed to cuss on this or not, but. Point night number one. Point night number one. This Point night number for one. all the marbles right here. For <laughs> all the marbles. For the next yeah. three days. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Back for a half hour and it'll be rubber and heat race. I don't know. The sooner we leave this place, the better. $10,000 payday awaits the winner. Dennis Herb Jr. is on the pole. Hudson O'Neill on the outside. This is your Dixie Chopper Feel the Thunder. Hudson O'Neill was your leader that time by at the stripe. He's going to link Dennis Herb Jr. down the back straightaway. Ricky Thornton Jr. is third. John Henderson is fourth. Max Blair rounds out the top five as Ricky Thornton Jr. goes around Dennis Herb Jr. So the two drivers are to be Lucas Oil 800 Series regulars this year. First and second with three laps in the books here tonight. Now we come out of turn four as... We really have an end. We're going to have a stop tech brakes caution. As soon as I said, we've not really had a long stretch of green flag racing. <laughs> Brandon Shepard with trouble on the B5. RTJ in the 20RT will choose the inside lane for this restart, oh. and he's got trouble. He slows going into turns one and two, and he'll try to limp that car off the racetrack, and that will bring out the stop tech brakes caution. The field bottles up behind him. And Ricky said he's not sure, thinks it may be something in the rear end, possibly the transmission. Not really sure, but lost something on that restart. Good car, fast car. Uh, HUD's been really good here, so I, uh, I can move around, kind of do what I need to do. We'll get her fixed up, try again tomorrow. So head down the back straight, wait for the final time. Blair's got to run through turns three and four. Can he sneak a nose under him? He will not. Checkered flag is out. It's going to be Hudson O'Neill getting his first win of 2023. Uh, broke her in gear. Kind of, kind of weird. Uh, I don't know. We don't ever have any problems with them, but I don't know if, if the company got a bad uh, batch of steel or something. Because uh, it's the same gear set that Devin broke too at Brunswick. So I don't know if it's something to do, like maybe, maybe the material is wrong, or if like maybe just the harmonics for being that exact gear set aren't exactly perfect or something. But kind of a kind of a bummer. I think we we had a good enough car there to win. I uh, I was running. I had 75% or so, just trying to save my tires there for the end. I knew three and four was going to rubber, so. Uh, try again tomorrow. The rumor in the pit area is Andrew's Gears is the way to go. Oh, I'm giving boy. Andrews a shout out now. Oh. Might be needing some product. Yeah. Oh, oh, boy. <laughs> Any word from the peanut gallery? <laughs> yeah, I see the wind coming tonight. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, maybe tomorrow we'll give her another shot. We'll take it. That's right. We are back with our pre-race show. There he is, Bay Raceway Park, with your host Joel and 
DJ. What is this? Day, day four of track packing, something like that. We're, we're missing a couple of co-hosts. Yeah, I don't know where they're at today. They're usually up here. They must be up along the fence there. They're taking a break from us or something. Yeah. Not like Joe East by adding up and they're sticking a camera in his face for four days. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. White flags out, final time around. Dalton Wilson, Brian Shirley in this battle for the last transfer spot. It's all Dalton Wilson out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. James Ratliff out of Campbellsville, Kentucky. He will start six at the line. He'll win it. Shirley second, over to third, Gordon fourth. There's Ricky Thorne Jr. What a start to the year. His worst finish so far that he's got left on the table. Two wins, two seconds, and a third. <laughs> and he had tough break last night. Rear end gears. Uh, stripped out of that car. They put a new rear end in that car. Anthony Burroughs, the crew chief, DJ Williams, and Christopher Jaco on the crew of the Todd and Vicky Burns SSI Motorsports car. Admittedly, he says not one of his best tracks, but we'll see what happens. He was running second when he broke last night. Got a really good car. Hope we don't get tore up. Uh, got 50 laps. See what happens. 50 laps is the distance. $12,000 on the line here tonight at East Bay Raceway Park. This is your Dixie Chopper Field of Thunder. Hudson O'Neill going to get the lead at the end of the lap. Number one, Garrett Smith, second side by side for third. Ryan Gustin going to make that pass on Devin Moran. Move the Reaper up into the third spot. He and Tyler Rooting. Garrett Smith right there. There you see O'Neill coming on a turn oh, through the way. Oh, no. Garrett Smith is going to spin, and Tanner English is involved. Thornton Jr., 13, bringing it over 10 up to 11 now on the restart. Devin Moran's going to move this second out of turn number two. Now, O'Neill and Moran, two of the most famous last names in dirt late model racing history. Battling it out at East Bay on a turn four with, nine, with 20 laps scored. 20 laps in the books, 30 laps to go. Devin Moran trying to work his way by Hudson O'Neill. We got a good one here at East Bay. Moran down to the inside through turns three and four. Side by side for the race lead. Hudson O'Neill on the outside. Devin Moran on the inside. Oh, half a car lane. A tenth of a second. Moran now slips up a little bit in turn number two as O'Neill pulls away. How about Dalton Wilson? The 18D is going to slide into second. Dalton Wilson, here comes Ashton Winger on the outside of the 12, trying to make it stick. No, Moran shuts the door. How about Garrett Alverson? A shout out to him last year's around the other parts rookie of the year. And here comes the current points in Ricky Thornton Jr. It's getting racy here at East Bay Raceway Park. James Winger in the white 12. Ricky Thornton Jr. in the blue 20. The white blue 58 of Garrett Alverson going at it with 14 laps to go here at the Clay by the Bay. RTJ, James, you mentioned it earlier. He started 20. 21st. He's worked his way up inside the top five on our racy East Bay Raceway Park surface here this evening. RT up to fifth. Winger fourth. Moran third. Please stay green. He's pedaling hard. Dalton Wilson in the 18th. Oh, no! no! He hits the wall down in turns three and four. He gathers it back up, and he may have damaged the car. Two laps to go, and that will allow Hudson O'Neill to pull away in this one. Back-to-back -back winner at East Bay Raceway Park is the New Deal Hudson O'Neill. I felt like we had really good speed all night. I just got myself behind qualifying, and then uh, the start of the heat race just didn't go right, and I fell back to fourth. And uh, won the B main it was pretty good. And really, we didn't change anything after that. We uh, we bolted some new tires on and just kind of went for it. And and really, I was I felt like I was the only car that could really move around. Like I was good around the top, bottom, through the middle, and. Uh, it was good enough where once I got to a car, I was never stuck behind him for more than a lap. I uh, just move out of line, kind of get my momentum, drive around him, or get in, slide him. But overall, just a really good night for us. We uh, 21 laps, car car's awfully muddy, but at the same time, it's probably the best racetrack we've seen here. So, at least for me. But uh, nothing got tore up. East Bay, she was muddy tonight. At least you could race. I kept telling everybody, I think they all agreed with me. 
we got a mud pack for a while and did a good racetrack. I think all of us would do it. Well, tonight they kind of gave us that. Look how good the racing was. Is it gonna rain tomorrow? Oh, yeah. I sure hope so. Day six at East Bay has just been canceled. So that puts a wrap on week. How many weeks we've we been down here, DJ Tires? No, we've been here more than, I think four. How many weeks we've we been here? Four weeks? Yeah. Orange, week five. Week five, headed to Volusia. We're taking home the orange spoiler. Taking home the orange spoiler. And we're gonna get loaded up, head up to Volusia, get Darlene all dressed back up, get some old valve springs and CA 3220. Be ready to go on Monday. Shout out Todd Vicky. Give a shout out to Todd and Miss Vicky at home. We appreciate everything greatly. And we'll uh, see what we can make happen next week. Say bye. Bye. on Darlene, fresh valve springs on CA3220. Still no girl with Jaco. And I think Olivia Tires left today, so DJ Tires is a little down in the dumps. But other than that, it's been a pretty productive Super Bowl Sunday. I am drinking a Corona with a shot of tequila and a lime. And what in Jacksonville at the Land Shark Bar they would call a loaded Land Shark. And it has got to be about the best thing I've ever drank in my life. Sam Parker over on the concrete, we're over here in the dirt. Hopefully, it don't rain this week, but we are in Florida, so it'll probably rain. Seven out of the five days we're here. Like I didn't really didn't care who won or lost. I just wanted the Chiefs fans to lose. You did see the Chiefs car that Ricky drove before, right? Exactly. Well, it had the big old Chiefs logo with an RT in the middle of it. You gotta tell him why was it a Chiefs car? He wanted it. <laughs> oh, yeah. We done it. We done it for Super Nationals just for him. He said I want a Chiefs car. I said not a problem. So we we just painted her up just like the Chiefs colors. I just seen a picture of it the other day on the internet. He's really a closet Mahomes fan. Day one, Volusia. This is Daddy Sox. Yeah. Pretty good here. We gambled on tires, so I'm hoping that uh, 
Ricky being the very, very, very exceptional driver he is, he's about to sneak around some of these fellas. Two ones and a 20 on. Mostly everybody's got 20s and 30s. Couple guys put a 20 on the right rear, but we're definitely gonna be hot right out the gate, hopefully. But uh, depends on if we fade, don't fade. It may not be hot at all, we're about to find out. Who's going to get the initial drive? It'll be Pierce. Bobby Pierce down the back, straight away in 32. He'll jump to the early race lead. It'll be Pierce to the bottom. Nick Hoffman trying to roll through the middle. Tim McCready up top with him. Chris Madden down to the bottom. Side by side, almost for the race lead. Hoffman with a run. Oh, contact here on the start finish line. Again, side by side. Nick Hoffman's going to roll right on bottom of the lead in nine. Nick Hoffman will lead lap number two. It'll be Hoffman out front in the nine. Green flag back out, Tim McCready, a great restart, there goes T-Mac. Tim McCready down to the bottom, he's gonna slide to the inside of the nine, take the lead. McCready's your new race leader down the back straight away. Bobby Pierce gonna come right with him in the 32. Pierce gonna go to second, Hoffman shuffled back to third. Tim McCready, your new race leader off turn four. Pierce, your leader in 32. McCready got in there a little bit hot. Pierce threw a monster slider, and Hudson O'Neill might get both of them. Hudson O'Neill down the back straight away, gonna work to the inside of the 39. McCready will take second. Down the back straight away. Pierce now up and over the cushion. You've got your second new leader off turn four. Hudson O'Neill's gonna lead it up the line in one. Checkered flag's gonna be out the opening night for the dirt car. Late models off turn four. Hudson O'Neill wins it in one. Way back there. Yeah. 20 seconds. And finished fifth in. Look at the notes. Don't, don't show the notes. A little damage. down the back straight away for the race leader. Three wide for the third spot right now. Tim McCready's gonna lead the field into turn number three. Bobby Pierce down to the bottom. Off turn number four, who leads lap number one? It is T-Mac in 39. Pierce with a crossover move. McCready gonna take a look to the inside. Second race leader in two laps. 
McCready led lap one, Pierce led lap two. Brandon Overton, a three car battle now. McCready to the lead into three. Overton to second on a four. Bobby Pierce just lost the lead, he went to third. Tim McCready's gonna see the white flag. His guys told him to go to the top, see if he can protect it. Oh, and O'Neill's over the cushion with one to go. Hudson O'Neill had a shot. Looks like that's gonna come to an end a couple of laps early. Tim McCready wins it in 39. Car was not as dirty tonight. Car wasn't as dirty. I don't know. Hold on. The car wasn't as dirty, but let me show you why. This badass racing spray oil. It's pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Car is way less dirty tonight. Put that on there before the feature. Literally, I stopped once we got back to the pit. The mud fell off the spoiler. That's how good it is. But, no, we were good. I just I got stuck behind a few cars early in the feature and just kind of screwed myself. But uh, overall, good night. Didn't tear anything up. No body damage. Car's clean. See what we do tomorrow. We got three features. So qualify. Hope you can qualify on the pole. Start on the pole. It's one of those features. It's probably gonna be pretty muddy. Uh, no sprint cars tomorrow. Got big blocks with us. Who knows? Maybe we can talk to Max McLaughlin to let me run one of his big blocks. Tell us a good story. Oh, shit. You got any good stories for us, Bob? Oh, the people shit. of dirt racing want to know. Can't be, can't be rated X. Here we go. <laughs> it's a family program. Yeah, we should, we should yeah. probably family family we should probably keep it slightly PG. <laughs> How did you do the last time you raced here? Uh, the last time I raced here. Oh, my God. Let me think how far back it was. Uh, itty, 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 man, you're really testing my memory now because I'm good on racing memory, but I got to think about this one. Um, I'll give you an 83 story. There you go. How about that one? All right. Uh, 83, that's wedge car days. All right. Yeah. That purpose was the man. I mean, along with Larry Moore and Buck Simmons, but I mean, he was, you know, purpose was like the young guys that's going on right now. And uh, that was when it was a weekly deal like it is now, but it's the point thing. It was, uh, was 3,000 to win the points at that time. It was 2,000 or second. And we're rolling into Thursday night, so we still had Friday and Saturday to go. And I broke a motor on the last lap. I run like fifth or sixth, but I broke. And if I, if I make the race the next night and just finish in the top five, I can hold on to second place. And if I just made the race Friday or Saturday, I would run a second at points. But Purvis doesn't have it wrapped up. And that was two grand, I'm thinking. I need two grand to get home. You know, we didn't have a broken motor, been there all week long, staying in a campground down the road. We didn't have a truck to stay in, you know what I'm saying? That old money for a motel. And uh, I had a little aluminum rod and 377 motor with me. That's all I had. That's all I had. And we ended up making that race. And I, run, I think I run like seventh or eighth. And Purvis, Purvis won again, but we ended up running second at points, and that was two grand. I said, now I can afford to go home. Now you go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> that was 1983. There you go. There's yeah. your history lesson. Uh, day something of Volusia County Speedway. Time to unload. Jaco's already at it. Ricky's going to go do some laundry. hot lap 48 times and it's still not real line burned there i think we're still like two seconds off pace but it's getting better uh, uh i don't know if they thought we were racing wing sprint cars tonight we wanted it muddy or what but uh hopefully it's better later um we go out kind of late to qualify i think it's probably gonna be really good so and uh we'll see how it goes for a second hot lap there so at least we weren't the hot lap hero tonight at least so hopefully the rest of our night goes smooth now if i was in a wing sprint car That'd be gas on it right there. But we're not. today we uh we drew that set up our qualifying groups and then we just qualify and race with our our group there's three different features tonight so we got a pretty good one we got uh, madden dennis herb hudson o'neill uh dale mcdowell jimmy owens 
So pretty good uh, feature here later tonight. Luckily we're the last one, so should be here like late, late, like a normal feature. So should be able to try some stuff and see if we can get a little better. Pretty stacked feature, front row Tyler Bruning, Blair Nordruff, Hudson, Madden, uh, a couple other cats in there that pretty darn good. And we started Kyle Bronson's up there too. Uh, we started six, like I said. Went soft again tonight. A couple guys on some different stuff. About to see if we can't make something happen. Tyler Bruning, Blair Nordorf bringing us to green. Final feature is green. Bruning gonna run the 76 and Nodorf up the hill just a bit. Nodorf stayed right on the gas and a blast by. Blair Nodorf, your race leader into turn number three. Chris Madden quickly away from traffic to third. Battle now for second. O'Neill to the inside of Bruning. He just threw an elbow. Hudson O'Neill to the inside of the 16 of Bruning. He said, I'm taking second off turn number two. Down to the bottom goes the 76. Up top goes the one. There goes Hudson O'Neill. Hudson O'Neill down the back straight away. He's going to roll around him on the top. Race leader Hudson O'Neill onto the infield with a flat right rear. wins it in 44. That was a wild one. Took off, about got wrecked first lap. Uh, watched Bruning get wrecked. Uh, they're off turn four. Um, got a flat right rear. I think we're running fourth, fifth. Got a flat right rear. Came back out. Passed like four or five more cars. Someone else got a flat. Nordov got a flat. There's like four or five of us that got a flat again under that yellow. So I, they found some, some like big piece of metal on the racetrack. And it was right at the top, like right under the flag stand. So I don't know if it was something like one of the equipment, like pieces fell off or what. But yeah, I think there was like six of us that got flats. So luckily my guys had enough riders down there for to put two tires on. I think we restarted like 10 and got to seventh or something like that. So we had a flat, thought we were still gonna have a chance to win. And then had another flat. I felt like we were at like a Darlington or something like that where like everyone's hauling ass all set under yellow, like everybody pits for flat tires. Uh, all right. I told Darl she always wants a tire game. I said, there's your tire game. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't really tear anything up other than those tires, which sucks because they're all brand new. So but you'll have that here at Big Time Auto Racing. I'm getting tired of y'all passing me. So should we tell them y'all gave me the hot speed setup? No, we can say that on camera. All right, I won't, tell, I won't tell them what you gave me. That's the secret sauce. We'll cut through the wind real nice. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> made it. 
I know nobody will see this till later, but her being here is giving us a couple of tents, so y'all better watch out. <laughs> well, we got a little bit harder tire than everybody else, so we'll see what happens right here. Doing a little game. This is the 60th World of Outlaws K Sleep Model feature of Volusia Speedway Park. We're green. Gonna jump out to the early race lead. Chase Young Hands gonna run up top of the 18. Here's back to the inside. Slide jump on the 32. Pierce off the 18 of Young Hands. Down the back straightaway, Bobby. Here's the second. White flag in the air. This is the Barrett's. One lap to go here in Volusia Speedway Park. Pierce to the inside. In the one, Overton has the lead. Pierce down low. Overton pushes up the smooth. Operator takes the lead in the final lap. Down the back straightaway. Off a of corner number four. This time Overton with a Hail Mary. Off a of corner number four. Bobby Pierce with redemption. He wins 9-3 with the Outlaws at Volusia. And we're live at Volusia Raceway Park. We finished ninth. Ninth, Ricky? Yeah. Ninth. Uh, one spot ahead of the top ten. Yep. Have we finished outside the top ten yet? That we finished. Yeah, that we finished. We'll take it. Put 500 on black for the future. I should have put 100. It kind of worked. Kind of didn't. It rolled green double zero. Sometimes you win. What's your thoughts of the day, Perm? Two more days. Wheel pack complete. 200 pounds of mud scraped off the car. Current rain delay, Volusia Speedway Park, night four. We're done. This is a hell of an hour. We're done. This is it. There's going to be no editing. No editing on this one right here. Yeah. Ain't no editing on this one. Surely that will not make crew diaries. What do you think, Dalton? Oh, my God. Race number last. Makes my eyes moist. I wish we had two more weeks. You guys want two more weeks or are you ready to go home? I mean, I want to keep racing, but I want to sleep in my own bed and take a real shower. We'll get you some high performance detailer. Yeah. to go 50 laps. DJ will get us on the right tires and hopefully we're, we're good to go. Coming to green here tonight for the finale of the 52nd annual Federated Auto Parts Dirt Car Nationals. Into one, Tim McCready going to take the lead. Down the back straight away, it's going to be Brian Shirley in second, Shane Clanton. Here comes the number eight, Chatham, Illinois racer, Brian Shirley. Going to pull alongside Tim McCready and the Team Zero number eight, Bob Cohen Machine takes the lead. Off a of corner number four, Tim McCready now going to turn it on. Down the front straight away, T-Mac back to the lead. 
Lawrence. He'll go to the inside. New race leader, Devin Moran. He'll take it from Tim McCready. Here comes Hudson O'Neill all the way from 23rd. What a hell of a racetrack here at Volusia Speedway Park. Now Tim McCready to the outside. Off a of corner number four. Seven laps to go. And it's the mailman, Devin Moran. Now Hudson O'Neill. Transponder, Sam McCready. Hudson O'Neill had third at the line, but he'll try to take the second spot off of corner number two, and he does. Off of corner number four, Moran has a lap car on the bottom. Hudson O'Neill on the outside. Monday night's winner takes the lead. Oh, baby. A rocket launch here at Volusia tonight. The rocket house car from 23rd to the lead. Devin Moran second. Here comes Ricky Thornton Jr. He'll go outside three wide for second. Off of corner number four, Hudson O'Neill pulls away from Devin Moran. Ricky Thornton Jr. to third. Shane Clanton about to go a lap down to race leader Hudson O'Neill. This is the Barrett's one lap to go for the Rocket One of Hudson O'Neill. Devin Moran gonna go to his inside. Slides up the racetrack. Hudson O'Neill's got it. They're gonna go side by side for a blink of an eye. Hudson pulls away down the back straight away. What a finale. The richest paying race with the yellows at Volusia. $20,000 later, alligator. Hudson O'Neill wins it and won. Cushion was about a foot and a half tall. Felt like I was in a wing sprint car just laying into it. And, uh, as long as you wheel spun into the cushion, you were good. So it was almost like you had to drive it like you were in an all wing car or something. But third 20th, got to third. I finished third is a good way to finish out the speed weeks. Uh, it's been a good time doing this. Hope everybody's enjoyed it at home. Um, maybe we'll get to do it next year. Guess we'll see you then. Final thoughts, probably one of the better speed weeks, best speed weeks I've ever had down here. Uh, can't thank Ricky, DJ Burroughs enough, and Todd, Vicky Burns back home for the opportunity to do this. We're gonna take Orange Bowler home to him. Saw a top three tonight. I don't even know how many top fives we had, top tens, but we showed our results and all our work we did at the shop this winter, so we'll see how the rest of the year goes. Crew Diary 2023. Gotta thank all you guys for, for watching, all the fans. Uh, it's been cool to have my whole family, my crew, everybody. Uh, thanks to Flow Racing, uh, Dirt on Dirt. And the whole SSI Motorsport team was, was excited to do it this year. Hopefully you guys will have us back again next year. Just wanna say thanks for everybody for tuning in, following us uh, for the last four or five weeks. Uh, hopefully we brought some good entertainment, some insight of what goes on behind the scenes. And and then during the night and during our days, uh, we, it's been fun. I was a little hesitant when they said we were gonna do this, but the guys really enjoyed it. And it's been a blast. And I uh, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Single. And Jago's still single, so I, I don't know what else we can do. <laughs> EJ Tires is not single. Yeah, a, <laughs> not my beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> Hopefully future wife. <laughs> I was waiting for him to get on one knee right there. <laughs>